Hey guys, so I know it's been a week since we last saw each other. Hope you know I miss you all and hope you're all doing well. Uh, I know a lot of you've reached out about book suggestions and other enrichment activities, so if you haven't already been to the enrichment page on our learning community website, you definitely should. Um, there you'll find a reading list for all your core subjects uh, and some quizzes. Uh, the reading list for civics is all about racism and social justice, so there's a lot of good reads there, so feel free to dive in. Um, but if you're looking for a small dosage of history, I'll try to post some short videos for you guys with questions that you guys can engage in a little bit more. So to start us off, since March is National Women's Month, and this event ties into what we were already talking about in class the last few weeks, we're going to start off our videos with Harriet Beecher Stowe. So on March 20th in 1852, Harriet Beecher Stowe published Uncle Tom's Cabin in Boston, Mass. This was in response to the Fugitive Slave Act that Congress had passed in 1850. Uh, remember, her book helped to humanize African Americans and demonstrated the abuses and exploitations of enslaved people in the United States. So while Uncle Tom's Cabin was used to support the abolitionist cause in an effort to end slavery, uh, her pivotal work her work was pivotal in persuading people to support abolishing this institution that had come to dominate the Southern economy. So really our question then is, at this time, how do you make slavery end? I mean, it was a huge institution, which was the backbone of the Southern economy. So would they end it gradually and ease the economic hardship on the South or immediately for moral reasons? Individuals at this time argued on both sides. A secondary question that followed was how to make this movement actually happen. So was it to do it peacefully through conversations and publications like Stowe's or violently like our good friend John Brown? Now these issues that began at this time really about how to conduct a protest and make change is still something we deal with in our lives today in the U.S. Thinking back to movements like the Civil Rights Movement and Black Lives Matter. Now, if you want to dive a little deeper into the abolitionist movement and see how it connects to more current movements like Black Lives Matter, check out the video I posted below. Um, after you finish watching the video, if you want to engage a bit more in this material, try to complete the challenges on the Google Doc I attached below. And as always, I would love to hear your thoughts, opinions, suggestions, or questions. Um, feel free to reach out, and I hope you guys all have a great day. Bye for now.